Hello guys, Ace and the Clown Haunt here, and this is my second haunt build for 2024, and I'm setting up the entrance to the haunted house, so let's get started. Okay, before I talk about the haunted house progress for today, I want to talk about the Halloween display before you enter the haunt. So this is going to be a graveyard theme, there's going to be a bunch of different tombstones and spiderwebs and just animatronics everywhere. And it's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to set that part up. And then you walk this way more. And you see this giant haunted house facade for Mr. Sharp's mansion. Okay, so here's his giant entrance. I recently added some of these skeletons. And then there's a lamp post up there that makes light appear from it. And then, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very giant in real life, this entrance way bigger than it looks on camera. It's probably about like, maybe almost 12 feet tall at the top of it, which is insane. Here's some of the skeletons on the side. And there's a lamppost that goes up there too. I still have to attach it. And yeah, here's some of the pillars on the side of it. Count Vigos is here right now. He's not going in the haunt. He's going to go in the graveyard section. <laughs> Don't come to my house or else I'll suck your dick. They have this chair. Rising woman from Party City is going to go in that. Then we have like this brick wall in the background. This is where we like enter the mansion. So it's going to be popping out from behind here. Um, more walls we're continuing to set up. And yeah. This is going to be the living room of the mansion. There's going to be portraits on the wall and some furniture and animatronics. We just have this tombstone right here because why not? Um, these walk this way. More just junk on the ground right now that I have to use still. Then that's Jack of Spades box. Here's more walls. Um, yeah, it's mainly the same color. These are the same walls we used from last year, but we're going to be changing it up a little bit, so that's nice. And then we just have Phil Valley Wolf on this side right now. Uh, Demonic Gatekeeper. This is a fortune teller from Poison Pops. We just have it secured up right now, so Wayne and stuff doesn't get into it. And yeah, here's some signs. We started to put some more walls up. Yeah, and then you just walk this way. We have this new Home Depot God Girl for this year that I recently picked up. He's cool. And we just have some random stuff on this side. This is where Chucky is going to be. And some other decorations. It's basically like a toy room inside of the mansion. Like a bedroom. I love these walls so much. They're very tall, but they do the job well. Look at this. It's like bricks and then blood everywhere. And then you just walk this way, and this is where Emmeline's gonna pop out from behind this entrance, I mean not entrance, behind the exit thing. Yeah, and then you just exit out this way and go do this gate. <laughs> but yeah, we still have so much more progress to do. I still have to put my walls up and then decorate it every room with like creepy cloth and add all the animatronics, but I think we'll get it done on time, so yeah. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Sorry that not too much happened in this video, but I promise the next few updates are going to be way better. And there's going to be walls going up, rooms are going to be be having detailing on them and stuff. There's going to be a bunch of animatronics. It's going to be way better in the next build video. So that's why I get guys. So bye, and don't forget the clowns are coming. Ha ha! I'm so excited for this haunt.